Greetings, and um, I have the honor to introduce Miles Barr, the co-founder and CTO of Ubiquitous Energy today, and he will talk about their truly transparent solar uh, coatings. And uh, Miles, with that, the stage is yours. Okay, great. Thank you, Christoph, and uh, thank you everyone for having me. I'm happy to be here to talk a little bit about transparent solar technology. Uh, and a few of the things we're working on at Ubiquitous Energy. Um, I'm a co-founder and the Chief Technology Officer at Ubiquitous Energy. Uh, my background is in chemical engineering and material science. So as we think about the future of solar technology, um, I think we're all familiar with conventional solar panels, um, rooftop arrays or solar farms is kind of what we're mostly familiar with. Um, but we like to ask the question of if, what if solar energy could be more than that? Uh, and in particular, what if every surface around us could generate its own invisible, renewable electricity? Um, there are surfaces we interact with every day, uh, whether they be the windows in our buildings, uh, windows on our cars, our mobile devices, um, even the way we grow our food in greenhouses. And all of those surfaces um, see light, and that light is potential energy that, that we can harvest um, to generate electricity. And this can be possible uh, today with truly transparent solar technology. Um, this is actually a picture of a transparent uh, solar panel that we've developed at Ubiquitous Energy. Uh, it looks just like ordinary uh, window glass. Um, you can see right through it. We actually like to say it's invisible because it really is indistinguishable from um, uh, or ordinary glass. So we'll get a little bit more into how this works. Um, but first, I want to give you a little bit of background on our company. Um, Ubiquitous Energy is a technology company. We're based in uh, Redwood City, California, which is in, in the Bay Area. <clears throat> we were actually a spin out from MIT um, and have been uh, developing transparent solar technology specifically for the past decade. And we really see a world where um, transparent solar can be embedded into our products and surfaces all around us. Um, from architectural glass in commercial and residential buildings um, to many more applications from automotive to agriculture, electronics, and really anything we can think about. Um, really, we want to enable sustainable electrification and digital connection of any product or surface uh, without aesthetic compromise. Um, we're first going after the architectural glass uh, products. Um, and really what that enables is for us to be able to turn buildings or skyscrapers uh, into vertical solar farms. So I mentioned the, the solar arrays that you find in fields. Um, we can bring that same functionality into the urban environment and the built environment um, by embedding the technology into the glass surfaces of buildings. Uh, the picture on the right here is actually uh, a rendering of um, uh, the Bow Building in Toronto uh, that's been rendered with our, our technology. Um, it's not installed in this building, but this is what this building would look like with, with transparent solar te technology today. Um, and it's indistinguishable really from the way the building looks uh, ordinarily. So let's dive into the technology here. Um, what is transparent solar technology and, and how does it work? So we start by looking at the, the spectrum of energy that's available from sunlight. Uh, and that's what's shown here in this figure in, in the background, the kind of gray um, spectral curve. And it turns out that actually our eye, the human eye, can only detect a portion of that energy, uh, which we know is visible light, which are the colors we see um, you know, when we, we look around our world. Um, and that's the, the region that's shaded in, in kind of the colored band to the left. Now, traditional solar panels like silicon or thin film um, technologies um, typically try to mimic the solar spectrum and broadly absorb across the spectrum. Um, and that includes um, ultraviolet, uh, infrared light, but also the visible light. And this is really inherent to the semiconductor materials that these technologies use. Um, they broadly absorb below their band edge. And so it's really fundamentally uh, not possible to make the active materials transparent to the light that we see um, with our eye. And so what we do for tr what we call truly transparent uh, solar technology, which we've invented at, um, at Ubiquitous Energy, is we, we redesign those materials and the solar device to be selective in where